King Charles, William, and members of the royal family from Camilla to Cape Milton are now leaking to the media to run stories that somehow they were blindsided by Harry and Meghan's decision to refer to their daughter as a princess. Princess Lilibet Diana. My family, from Harry and Meghan's very own statement, from their spokesperson, who said these very, very important words that I would love to share with all of you. Very important words from Harry and Meghan's spokesperson, who said this words and i quote the children's titles have been a birthright since their grandfather became monarch i want to repeat that the children's titles have been a birthright since their grandfather became monarch this matter has been settled for some time in alignment with buckingham palace so the palace was not blindsided. They knew what was happening because already they were having conversations about it. And they were not blindsided as they would like to claim. The palace is once again lying. And my family, allow me to correct these lies coming from the palace that somehow Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex called Charles Bluff over Princess Lilibet and they won. My family, I can see just why they're painting it as such really. I can see why. I mean the tabloids are so, so tired of seeing Harry and Meghan winning time and time again. Always winning. When they've wanted for Harry and Meghan to fail so, so much. And now that, now that that's not working out, you know, they're angry about it. They're angry that their plots to destroy Harry and Meghan have failed. And my family... Here's what they are saying. Losing control of the narrative is an adhima throughout. The great ship of state is supposed to sail serenely on despite the weather, not get tossed about on the ocean's waves. Harry and Meghan know this well. And so no doubt they knew exactly how disruptive it would be for the royals when they, in what they're saying, unilaterally declared Wednesday that their daughter Lilibet was a princess. My family, did Harry and Meghan unilaterally declare Lilibet was a princess? The answer is no. The answer is no. They are lying. Prince Harry, I'm thankful that Harry and Meghan have a voice right now. And they're sharing their thoughts, their opinions through their spokesperson who said this matter has been settled for some time in alignment with Buckingham Palace. You know, what they're just confirming to all of us is that indeed what Meghan said is true. That yes, there were conversations to ensure that Archie does not get, you know, a prince title. Only a bit. And now they're angry that my family, Archie, and Lilibet are prince and princess. They're angry about it right now. And Harry and Meghan are saying that the palace has known for some time already. So what's happening is that the media is once again lying, lying to the public. 
And even P.S. Morgan, carnival of so-called expert who has been obsessed with Harry's wife Meghan, slammed Harry and Meghan for wanting royal titles for their children. My family, my family, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle did not start the monarchy. Prince Harry and Meghan, you know, they did not invent the farm or create it or this whole institution of the monarchy. They did not do that. Prince Harry was born into the royal family, the son of Diana and the current reigning monarch, Charles. Prince Harry was not the one who made the decision issuing patents. The grandchildren of the current reigning monarch are to be called, styled as prince and princess. Harry did not do that. Harry's ancestor, the late King George, did. And if you're going to be angry about two mixed race children being called prince and princess, take it up with your laws. The laws that you have in your country. Take it up with the entire concept of the monarchy. Take it up with that, but not with Harry and Meghan. Not with Harry and Meghan. They are not to blame. If you want to abolish it all, then go ahead and do that. So guess what? You won't have any prince or princess in the monarchy. Then you do that. But the carnival of so-called experts like P.S. Morgan cannot come whine, moan, and complain and bicker about Archie and Lilibet being called prince and princess when they know fully well that first of all, that is basically the law. Patents were issued ensuring that the grandkids of the current reigning monarch are styled as prince and princess. My family, that is what, you know, it's like. That's how it is. And if they are not comfortable with that, then let them pick that up with Charles himself. But leave Harry, Meghan, Prince Archie, Princess Elizabeth from their evil rhetoric, from their evil abuse. Once again, what we are witnessing is the bullying of not just Harry and Meghan, but now their kids by the royal family and the UK tabloid media. Now, my family, the royals are also saying through leaks that that they casually tucked her new title into a christening announcement delivered to People magazine as opposed to the more traditional easel outside Buckingham Palace. My family, <laughs> you know, first of all, this sounds like some carnival so-called experts were angry that they did not get first dibs on the scoop about, you know, Lilibet being christened. They're angry about that. That they have no access. And once again, with that, they only have themselves to blame. They are the ones who chased Harry and Meghan out of the royal family. Stop blaming Harry and Meghan for your evil actions. Stop blaming Harry and Meghan for your bullying, for your abuse. That made Harry and Meghan that left them with no choice but to flee from the UK. Stop blaming Harry and Meghan for that. Stop. Just stop. You know? And they're calling that William, Charles, Camilla and Kimilton not attending, you know, a dig at Charles and William. Here's what they're saying, really. Here is what they're saying. The article from People also took a dig at the royal's absence with a source saying that Charles, Camilla, Kate and William had all 
being invited to the affair, which featured a 10-piece choir brought by Tyler Perry. But the royal family, Charles William Kate Camilla, did not show up. Wait, are they going to blame Harry and Meghan for that as well? You know, are they going to blame Harry and Meghan for them being vindictive, hateful? You know, are they? Because that is what it seems like is happening, really. They should not blame Harry and Meghan for their pettiness. They are also saying that after an hour or two of startled silence, the raw rabbit removed itself from Harry and Meghan's headlights and journalists were briefed the palace had no issue with the move and had indeed been expecting it all along and would shortly be updating the website to reflect the new titles for Archie and Lilibet. And that is what has already happened. That's what they've done. And now the royal website now shows Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet as sixth and seventh in line to the throne. Now, my family, Prince Harry and Meghan said in a statement that the decision to use Lilibet's title, Princess, was settled in alignment with the royal family. And they're saying that not approved, not approved. The royal family did not approve. That's what they are saying. That Harry and Meghan made a point that the kids were entitled to the titles as a matter of law. And nobody's permission was required with Buckingham Palace. My family, once again, if these people have a problem with the law, then they know what to do. Then they know what to do. If Charles decides to remove Archie and Elizabeth Prince and Princess title, then my family, it will continue to confirm to the entire world just how petty, vindictive, a bad father and even grandfather Charles truly is. And Charles, right after the backlash he received, after forcefully evicting Harry and Meghan from Fongo Cottage, I don't think he'd ever want a repeat of that. Now, my family, once again, they're running with that narrative that they were blindsided. Here's what they're saying. And I quote, But the timing and the manner of the big reveal made it look rather like the palace and many courtiers had, if not been blindsided, certainly been caught off guard. That's what they are saying, that the palace was caught off guard, blindsided, really. What a bunch of lies, you know. You know, I recall when Harry and Meghan were announcing that they were stepping down as senior members of the royal family. I recall how the tabloid media were running with stories that they blindsided the queen. The queen did not even know. They did not even tell the queen to arouse backlash and hate against Harry and Meghan from so-called monarchists. That's what they did. And then, when the queen issued a statement about it. The Queen said this. She said that these conversations had been going on for months. For months. For months. Confirming what Harry and Meghan have said in the Harry and Meghan documentary that they did not blindside the Queen. What happened was 
that Harry and Meghan were being threatened by the Sun tabloid. At the time, the editor was Dan Wooten, and he had threatened Harry and Meghan to be the one who publishes that story immediately because my family, it had leaked that Harry and Meghan were stepping down as senior members of the royal family, the tabloid media. So Harry and Meghan wanted to, to reclaim that narrative. And then they released to the entire world that they were stepping down as senior members of the royal family. And the tabloids were busy lying. And even after the Queen issued a statement that these conversations were going on for months, still, the tabloids were running with the blind side of the Queen. The Harry and Meghan did not even tell the Queen. They were running with lies against Harry and Meghan. You know? And once again, they are doing the same, same thing. Because the palace is not happy that Archie and Lilibet are prince and princess. If they take those titles away, guess what happens? It looks bad on Charles. And they do not want to repeat of what happened when Charles forcefully evicted Harry and Meghan from Fongmo Cottage. Now my family, the story continues by saying this, that the Bulletin to the People magazine was about as far from a coordinated joint announcement as you can get and as fuel suspicion that Harry and Meghan tired of Charles' refusal to officially declare the kids prince and princess which he could easily have done at any point from his accession address onwards decided to put it up to the royals they say my family Once again, the palace is leaking about its discontent about it. About Archie and Lilibet being prince and princess. I mean, they can't control nor can they hide the racism. First, it was the bullying of Meghan. Now, the bullying and abusing Archie and Lilibet. It's too much, really. It's too much and it must be called out. My family, I do agree. That yes, we did hear scoops from the palace that, you know, Charles wanted Archie a little bit to earn their titles. That's what we heard, really. Time and time again. But my family, first of all, Archie and Lilibet, it's important to note that when Charles became king officially, when the late queen passed away, the late queen Elizabeth, passed away. Archie and Lilibet from that moment onwards was supposed to be called styled as prince and princess based on the law based on patents issued by King George V that the grandkids of the current reigning monarch are to be called prince or princess. So once again, if they are angry about it, let them not focus on attacking Harry and Meghan, but focus on their laws, but not Harry and Meghan. You know? Now my family, it continues that the timing was completely exquisite. The story reads, the king was hardly going to be anything other than accepting when he is really thought to be on the point of securing the couple's attendance at the coronation. And my family, as what I said yesterday, that officials have been tasked with planning the event, you know, the coronation, are saying that they have been ordered to actively 
make plans for Harry and Meghan to attend. With one of them saying that Harry and Meghan are being factored into all of the plan planning, the cars, feasting arrangements, dining arrangements, and everything. And friends of William and Charles are leaking once again. Now here's what they are very much saying. Now friends and allies of King Charles and Prince William are saying that the king would be pleased that Harry and Meghan had decided to use prince and princess titles for their children. And that it showed they had never been discriminated against. That's what they're saying. That they had never been discriminated against. I mean, my family, come on. Everybody saw the torture that Harry and Meghan went through. Everyone saw the torture that Harry and Meghan went through. Everyone saw the bullying. Members of parliament saw it and they intervened and they issued statements condemning the tablet harassment of Meghan Markle where the royal family just sat there, watched and were leaking anti-Harry and Meghan stories to the press. So everyone knows what they did. You know? Everyone knows about it. You can't try and say that because Archie and Lilbet are being recognized as part of the laws, <laughs> you know, of the royal family, the patents issued by the King George V, you can't say that because Archie and Lilibet are recognized as prince and princess that it shows that Harry and Meghan have never been discriminated against. You can't, you can't say that. You can't use that logic in light of everything that we have seen. The bullying and abuse of Meghan Markle by people who have dinner and parties with Camilla Parker Bowles, the Queen Consort. You can't, you can't say that. Everyone has seen it. How poorly both Harry and Meghan, you know, have been treated. For those who read Harry's Memoir Spare, we all heard, you know, how William physically assaulted Harry. We all heard how Charles called Harry, telling him not to come with Meghan to Balmoral before the Queen passed away, then abusing Harry's wife. And then Harry, defending his wife from his own father's abuse, telling Charles, don't ever talk about my wife that way. We all saw how Harry and Meghan have been discriminated against. We've seen it because even the royal family leaked itself that Charles had called Harry telling him not to bring Meghan, his wife, the mother of his kids, while abusing Meghan. The world has seen Charles and the world has seen William how poorly you have treated Harry and Meghan. What happened to Archie and Lilibet being called prince and princess. That is their birthright. If people are unhappy with that, then let them abolish the monarchy. Let them abolish the monarchy. So we have nothing to do with titles, you know, and all that pageantry. Then abolish the monarchy if you're unhappy with Archie and Lilibet being recognized as prince and princess. Titles which are hereditary. Even Charles did not become king because he earned being king. No. Charles became king because he inherited, you know, his mother's throne by being born first in line. That's how Charles became king. So, my family, if people are unhappy now with this fact that members of the royal family inherit the titles, then they know what to do. Abolish the monarchy. You know? Now, my family... 
Now, Megan, as you all know in the Oprah interview, said that Archie was denied the title of prince. That there were conversations, actually. What Megan said is that there are conversations. Conversations. I think that that is what people don't say. You know, I don't hear anyone saying this. Megan said that there were, you know, conversations to ensure that Archie does not become prince. That is what was being done. And what was important to both Harry and Meghan was that Archie gets security. That the first mixed race grandchild of the reigning monarch at the time, you know, that is great grandchild, of the reigning monarch at the time, Archie gets security, gets protection. That is what Harry and Meghan were interested in. However, there were conversations to change that convention that allowed Archie and Lilibet to become prince and princess. That is what Meghan said. I feel like people are cherry picking words. Of what Megan said. Use this, don't use that. Use this, don't use that. You know, I can't allow that. I can't allow that. Let us speak the truth. Megan said there are conversations to change that convention that allowed Archie to be called a prince. And clearly, after Megan said it, the palace Charles, after what is done, Evicting Harry and Meghan from Fumo Cottage, Charles does not wa want to appear worse than he already appears. And if he strips Archie a little bit of their prince and princess title, then Charles will appear worse than he already appears right now. And my family, I think it's, it's funny how they themselves say what happened. They have the facts and evidence right there for them to see. Because they're even seeing it, you know? That latest patent issued by King George V in 1917 made it clear that children of the current reigning monarch would be called prince and princess. You know, meaning the grandkids of the current reigning monarch, who now so happens to be Charles. So my family, they have the facts right there, and they're mentioning it. But what are they doing? They are spinning stories to try and take a dig against Harry and Meghan, to attack Harry and Meghan, when they have the facts right there in front of them. You know? Now, my family, this friend of Charles tried to put a pro-Charles spin on what happened this week. Saying that Charles will of course be pleased that Harry and Meghan clearly want their kids to inherit their titles. And they're saying it. Funny thing is, they're saying what happened and some people, the press is spinning stories. That Harry and Meghan, they're slamming Harry and Meghan because the kids are prince and princess. Yet it's the law. It's what happened in the royal family. In the institution, titles are inherited. And a friend of William has also shared, you know, William's opinions and thoughts about, you know, what's happening. Because you always know that William is always leaking to the press. When asked about what is happening right now and William clearly is angry with Megan and William once again is making it about himself the story about himself here's what William friend said and I quote Megan made out there in the Oprah interview 
that there was some dastardly plot to favor William's kids over Harry's. That really hurt William. <laughs> this guy is so full of himself. He's so full of it. So full of himself. He only thinks about himself, you know? And the friend said that now everyone can see that that was never the case. Once again, William's friends turned the story to be about William. Always about him. This guy is just so full of himself, really. So jealous about, you know, Harry, Meghan, and the kids receiving attention while his are ignored. Really. He's so jealous of Harry and Meghan and now about, you know, jealous of Archie and also a little bit William. The man who physically assaulted his own brother and clearly hates his own brother and is so jealous of Harry. William's hate shall never ever win, only love triumphs. Now, my family, I'd like to hear opinion on this, please, on this story of what is happening. Kindly tell me what you think about this but here's what they're also saying that and i quote an alternative interpretation of this week's action and reaction is that despite the readiness of the palace to accept the titles and there's no doubt that they acted quickly to update their website and made all the right noise this week this does not obscure the fact that charles failed to declare the children prince and princess soon after the death of the queen. Would it have been so hard for his accession address, which paid tribute to Harry and Meghan, <laughs> to mention Prince and Princess Archie and Little Bit, for example? The answer is no. But also, once again, my family, Charles did not pay tribute to Harry and Meghan. Charles did not pay tribute to Harry and Meghan. Charles said, and I quote, much love to Harry and Meghan as they spend their lives overseas. Right now, Charles has evicted Harry and Meghan from Formal Cottage forcefully so William can get his fifth home. So William can take Andrew's place. Andrew can take where Harry and Meghan lived. Formal Cottage. That's what Charles is doing. My family. So Charles never meant much love to Harry and Meghan as a tribute to Harry and Meghan. He never meant it. Because from what we have read from Harry's memoir spare, we know what he meant. Right before that, he was abusing Harry's wife. So that shows that Charles is indeed very much a hypocrite, in my opinion. Full of hypocrisy, in my opinion. Says one thing to Harry and Meghan in private, abusing Harry's wife Meghan, then says another thing in public. That is hypocrisy, gaslighting, and lies. Now, my family, they are saying that Harry and Meghan scored this week when Charles left an open goal. So my family, with all of this, they're saying that they're just confirming, indeed, what we all know. What is true? The royals are not a family. They leak and plan stories about each other. That's what they do. Time and time again. And clearly, they are very much vindictive. Even children are not exempted. In the royal family's plot show their vindictiveness, their hatefulness, and their racism. But hate will never ever win. Love wins. And Harry and Meghan keep winning. And I love seeing Harry and Meghan keep winning. May they always keep winning, my family. He never wins. Love you all and forever. And stay tuned to our next video. God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lil Bedana, and Doria Raglan. And all of you, members of the squad at home. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. I'm happy that Harry and Meghan claimed the birthright of the kids. Never let anyone ever take or steal your birthright. Never. Never let them do that. I'm happy that Harry and Meghan have fought tooth and nail for their kids to have their birthright. They did the right thing, my family. 
and the royal family have been treating Harry and Meghan appallingly for a long time. That's what they've done. Let them not say otherwise. That is what they've done. And their actions prove it. William's physical assault of Harry, Charles' abuse of Meghan, and their leaking of stories against Harry and Meghan, and their leaking of stories against Harry and Meghan, everything shows who are at fault. And it's Charles, William, Fitz, and Camilla. And the hate campaign with the tabloid media against Harry and Meghan will not win. It's a failure. And Harry and Meghan keep winning. And may God bless them so, so much. The family, stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.